Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel Auto Empty. So today I'm up with a new video with you all sharing about the new upcoming car that is 2023 Nissan Leaf. A 4147 horsepower electric motor drives the front wheels of the ordinary Leaf model, which is fueled by a 40.0 kilowatt battery pack. A 214 HP electric motor and a bigger 62.0 kilowatt battery are the standard on the Leaf Plus versions. The former clock, a 7.4 seconds 0 to 60 mph time at our test track. But with the electric motor's quick power delivery, it feels more attractive than the task score suggests. The cabin of the Leaf is roomy and pleasant, and it comes equipped with a variety of the high technological driver assistance features including a semi-autonomous driving mode. In terms of the both attractiveness and practicality, the LEAF has lost ground to the industry leaders like as the Ford Mustang, Mac A and the Tesla model 3.8. The 2022 Nissan LEAF's lower pricing event is one of its most appealing features but its short range means that the rival mainstream EVs are more practical and worth the extra money. The Leaf's base battery pack is only good for the 149 miles of predicted driving range. Upgrading to a plus model increases this to around 226 miles, which is better but not revolutionary. Nissan has made the Kadamovo first charging port standard on all the LEAF model this year, as well as the Pro Pilot Assist that is the semi-autonomous driving mode which is only available on the SV+. The most noteworthy price of news though is the LEAF's considerable price reduction. With a starting price of just over $28,000 before the state and the federal tax subsidies, the LEAF is currently the cheapest new electric vehicle on the market. All the trim levels is, are now between $4,245 and $6,545, less expensive than the last year. The LEAF can be plugged into a regular 120 volt outlet or a 240 volt outlet but the charging times vary dramatically between the two. On a 240 volt connection, Nissan says both the standard Leaf's battery and the larger one in the Leaf Plus can be replenished in 7 hours. A DC fast charging connection is standard in all the trims. The standard Leaf models all come with a 40.0 kW battery which provides a relatively limited range of 149 miles. Although the cabin of the Leaf S and SVs had a lot of back plastic, that is, they well assembled a uniform textures which help it to avoid the looking cheap. The SL model offers an optional light grey leather interior with a matching dash, pad that looks and feels better. The gauge cluster features a large analog speedometer next to a 7.0 inch digital readout that can be reconfigured to show a variety of displays. The Nero EV, which sports a more SUV like the body style, has slightly more cargo in our testing, but the Leaf still is the top among the all electric cars as an electric vehicle. Thank you guys for listening up the video. I hope this video was very helpful for you all. 